Okay, hello and welcome to a bonus episode to kind of close out the Snow Queen quest section of this playthrough of Persona 1. Last time we finished off the Snow Queen quest, and I have since gone back and reloaded my save from before I completed the Thanatos Tower, and then I had to quickly, you know, run back through and do the Thanatos Tower again, as it turns out, quickly redoing a dungeon that has that gimmick isn't the best idea, wouldn't recommend it. But now, I can go back out, and where we would normally face the Ice Mask, we will get a different result, because since I didn't get all of the all of the Mirror Shards, I only have five currently, uh, I will instead get a different boss fight, and this will lead us to the bad ending of the game, um, which is what I want to do. However, I have set myself up in such a way that I'll just make the kind of ensuing boss fight a lot easier for myself just for my own convenience you know, because honestly I did a I did a test run of this fight and Hidehiko was just dead weight in it because he was weak to ice and uh, yeah this thing does a lot of ice damage anyway let's quickly just uh, head on outside and away we go into the I guess the final boss fight for what will be the bad ending Naria hold up the mirror Okay, so we just uh, hold up the mirror, and if you have less than, I think it's seven, I think if you have less than seven of the mirror shards, you'll get this result. No, no way. What the? It just flashed. That can't be right. We all tried so hard to gather the mirror shards. Come on, let's try holding it up again. This, this can't be happening. Try again. <laughs> There's no use in thrusting that gaff-riddled mirror at me. You've lost. Damn it! You did well in gathering the shards, but not well enough, it seems. Now come, join your psycho in tasting the eternal despair of the pitch-black night. So now we get a different boss fight to what we would normally have. And honestly, this fight with the setup that we have probably won't even be that bad it'll be a bit of an inconvenience in some regards but i think we should mostly be okay because i know she's weak to electric she's weak to fire and she is weak to axes and i think rush damage on top of being weak to all gun damage which will be very helpful i think she has like 6200 maximum health or something so yeah, I'm pretty much just going to kind of just spam out everything I can. You know, set up my defenses, lower her attack. Like, lower her attack, increase my defenses, and just heal as and when necessary, and then just kind of get through the... And just kind of get through the fight as fast as I can. And because, honestly, yeah, I don't think I'm really going to need all that much strategy for this. Because, honestly, I can probably just shoot my way to victory here. Honestly, I... No, I'll have Hidehiko heal with Madiarama because I gave him fail egg for this fight. But honestly, having two people on Judgment in this game is kind of busted. Mostly because Judgment Arcana in this game is kind of just busted by itself. And by that I mean, in uh, in this game, the uh, Personas of the Judgment Arcana, they basically just go... They basically just say no to magic damage. Which is absolutely insane. In it with, you know, how much... With how much magic there is in this series. Just the fact that you can pretty much just say no to all magic damage is absolutely insane to me. However, uh, the fact that it, it's now kind of just spamming Moon Shatterer isn't exactly helping me out here. Partially because I have Eriko on her base persona. And also, I, I do kind of appreciate the irony... I d don't worry, the irony of saying, oh yeah, Judgment Arcana is broken in this game, and then having, uh, and then the one character just kind of gets, in, just, uh, just gets annihilated with it. Don't worry, that irony is not lost on me at all. Okay, so let's hopefully just keep getting through this without too much more hassle. Also, I should note, I'm recording this like a few weeks after I've finished recording kind of everything else for this. This. And honestly, as of, as of the time of me recording this, I am pretty much right at the end of Persona 3 Reload as well. 
So, like, this video will come out probably, like, a week or two after I've finished Reload. So, I don't know, and then the Sabak route, it'll be in it. Then the Sabak route, I'll... Honestly, the Sabak route will probably be a weird case where throughout I will be making reference to the fact that I'm going to be playing Reload, I think. And then by the time and it comes out, I'll have already finished the game. Anyway, honestly, we just do so much... You do so much damage of guns to this boss. I honestly think we might be near the end of this boss fight already. But I should definitely try to do some healing here. So, let's... Do I have a dispara? Yes, I do. Okay. So, let's have Yuki now just go for Zeodyne. Eriko can just heal, I suppose. I'll have her just heal Ayase, I guess. Honestly, to be totally honest, it doesn't really make much of a difference who kind of uh, makes it to the end of this fight and who doesn't. Because on realistically, I've already finished the game at this point, and I don't really care if I win with one person alive or all five. Because, well, you know, this is just to show off the bad end, like... So, I think we should be okay regardless. But, you know, it would it would be quite nice to have the kind of, uh... How, how do I phrase it this? How do I phrase it? I think it would be nice to have the kind of just ultimate victory, where it's like, yeah, everyone was standing at the end, you know? But, yeah, I think we must be fairly cl Wow, that's the first time I've seen Eriko just completely miss everything with her gun. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure we must be somewhat close to the end of this boss fight. I will say, one thing... I will say, that's something I will always give Persona 2 Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment credit for. Uh, they have a thing where, uh, basically, uh, if you highlight over, you can kind of, like, scan. When you're doing this, like, it would tell you the kind of health state. Like, if they're low, they sometimes... A lot of enemies have, like, a kind of weakened animation for bosses. And also, some will just kind of have... Well, they'll always have just a kind of red thing instead of a green one. Be like, hey, they're on low health. I will say, that is a very nice thing that I greatly appreciate in both Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment. But we'll be seeing those back on the channel when... I, honestly, whenever I decide to get around to replaying them... Like, I know they'll be getting replays at some point. I haven't decided when that will be, but I know that they will be happening at some point. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that when... We must be near the end of this fight now. That does, like, 200, and she has, like, 6,200 health or something. And I should probably heal Hidehiko here. And by that, I mean, I, if I can get him to move again, I think we should be okay. Never mind, we just win the fight. Fantastic. Did that do it? Where's Miss Psycho? <laughs> uh, so we've made a mistake here. Who, who's that? Psycho, your beacon of hope has become a sacrifice, as did Tamomi. I'm the persona known as the Night Queen, who once dwelled within Tamomi. You have my thanks. I'm at last freed from my host and the mask that bound me. And the eternal and once the eternal night arrives, I shall be complete. I shall. I, sorry, I shall enshroud this world in black and white, nothingness and despair. What? Fools, open your eyes and witness the advent of the eternal night. From the heights of this, uh, from the heights of this ice castle, I shall unleash the snows of despair. Well, off she goes. Hey, wait! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, what is this? This is Eternal Night? To hell with this! Hey, so-called old Night Queen, quit hiding and come on out! Fight us fair and square! <laughs> now you two will slumber as a statue of ice. Stop! Well, there goes Sutomu. That, that, from, that was from inside the school. Run! Run away or you'll be frozen as well! Stop! Nope! Hey, who are you? And they also to, to, to ice? Taro? No, Natsumi? No. This can't be. I mean, were they all just running by? Because, like, 
if they were all in different places, why would they be able to hear them? I guess when they're in a courtyard, whatever. The psycho? Almost everyone in the school building is frozen. I gotta get you out of here before the Kareen returns. Please, run away. You have to live on. R run away? But how? We'll use what power we have left to send and you all out of the school. We can't just run away with our tails between our legs. No way. I'm staying. It's coming back. There's no time. You ready? I'm leaving everyone in your hands. Please, survive for us. And with that, we now have the bad ending. Also, we weren't teleported that far away, to be honest. Oh my god. They're frozen. It's over. It's it's all a bad joke, right, Nurse Natsumi? Come on, Satomi, I'm talking to you. Please, say something. Look through the hole. The whole town is frozen over. Hold on. Does, does that mean we're all that's left? No one else made it? We did the best that we could. We all did, didn't we? How could it have ended like this? No! What's gonna happen to us? The students' efforts came to naught as they failed to save Miss Psycho and the school. The world was, en was engulfed by the despair of the eternal night, and everything faded to black and white. All in the name of everlasting beauty. Okay, so basically, that's a bad ending, and now the credits just roll. Although, you know, we sat through the credits in the last one, so I will just quickly skip past these. So, as always, feel free to leave a comment and click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined, and I will hopefully see you all in the next one. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.